Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office and thank you for joining me. Today is Wednesday, April the 25th and today we remember St. Mark the Evangelist who was the author of the Gospel that bears his name. Here is a reading from the book Lesser Feasts and Fasts. A disciple of Jesus, Mark appears in several places in the New Testament. If all references to Mark can be accepted as referring to the same person, we learn that he was the son of a woman who owned a house in Jerusalem, <clears throat> perhaps the same house in which Jesus ate the Last Supper with his disciples. Mark may have been the young man who fled naked when Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. In his letter to the Colossians, Paul refers to Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, who was with him in his imprisonment. And Mark set out with Paul and Barnabas on their first missionary journey, but he turned back for reasons which failed to satisfy Paul. When another journey was planned, Paul refused to have Mark with him. Instead, Mark sent with Barnabas to Cyprus. The breach between Paul and Mark was later healed, and Mark became one of Paul's companions in Rome, as well as a close friend of Peter's. <clears throat> An early tradition recorded by Papias Bishop of Heropolis in Asia Minor at the beginning of the second century, names Mark as the author of the gospel that bears his name. This tradition which holds the gospel drew his, that Mark drew his information from the teaching of Peter is generally accepted. In his first letter, Peter refers to my son Mark, which shows a close relationship between the two men. The Church of Alexandria in Egypt claimed Mark as its first bishop and most illustrious martyr, and the great Church of St. Mark on Venice commemorates the disciple who progressed from turning back while on a missionary journey with Paul and Barnabas to proclaiming in his gospel Jesus of Nazareth as the Son of God and bearing witness to that faith in his later life as friend and companion to the apostles Peter and Paul. Let us pray. Almighty God, the hand of Mark the Evangelist, you have given to your church the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and we thank you for his witness, and we pray that we may be firmly grounded in its truth. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.